and welcome back everybody to more live stream and brought to you by the Wrong Buys podcast and welcome back to Carlisle Indoor Boards Club for the third session in the Scottish International Open Qualifier and our game today will feature our next game two lads who you've probably seen we see we have got John McHutchison John who's been on many times there dark shirt it's a, and he's playing Ooh. Stephen Scott new name to the streamer we used that for the uh, open singles at Hartlepool last week we did stream him so he made his debut and was very impressive all good reports leads in for Stuart Anderson which is no mean feat so still at the last 64 stage we are very much a roll on roll off at the minute so it's, there's not a minute piece for us we've got John playing with these Red Tiger Evos size 4 and Scott with Tiger Pros size 3 so here we go the lads have had the tri ends down into it the format two sets of 7 ends if it's a tie then we have a fight <laughs> we'll have a fight we'll have a fight we'll not play a tiebreaker we'll just have a punch up on the green Best of three tiebreakers. Is that last ball in front of the jack or? It is in front of the jack or 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 jack latest results there we go there's your link just go onto the World Bulls Tour website and look for PBA which will be over one side of the website click on that down to UK Europe and click on that it'll open up the qualifiers and then there you'll see the draw for Carlisle and Dolphin that's taking place at the moment We'll run through the results that we've had off the last session. It's been up to date. Which I think Martin might just be in the process of doing it. So. line from Stephen and get a grab of the ball as always we're going live on Facebook and YouTube if you've got any questions just feel free anything that you want to discuss feel free any comments and we'll have a bit chat about them very informal. If you've never watched any live streaming by us, the Wrong Bias podcast, it is, uh, we like to have it very informal, something different. Have a bit crack and a bit laugh. Well, I'm going to get on, Stephen. No. A chance here for John. Got a fancy, he might be definitely one or two, maybe, so I'm not sure. Tickle on the white will make it certain. Well, he's gone quick for the ball. So 
most of the white. Might get the worst result there yet. Yep, one to Scott. Full entry, 56. Didn't Jason didn't take on the 64. Saved us a extra finish. Finals due to go off about quarter to nine. This round was due to go off at 11:30. So probably running about um, maybe it's 10 minutes over at the moment. John qualified for the Scottish International Open last year. Stand to be corrected, obviously. Remember, he's like a sieve. Needs to run, John. Anybody interested in the uh, the other events? There, there's events being held at Les Derby View in September. Double headers, uh, Carlisle. We're back here at Carlisle for World Indoor Singles and World Indoor Pairs in October the fifth and sixth weekend. And the World Indoor Pairs at Hartlepool qualifier. And there's uh, another Scottish International Open qualifier at West Lothian in November. Entries will be open uh, early May for those ones. Being quick. Uh, go through to Ticket Source website. Do the business. If you don't buy a ticket, you don't get a chance. So. But be quick. Well, John might be in a spot of bother here. That's David's done the cabinet was. So, four and draw here from uh, our little mate John. On a decent line, all down to his pace. He got enough in it. No, he hasn't. Might just sat it down. Could be still three adrift, I think. There's one out, there's two out. Three out, and then even up for the four. Could well be a full house. Nope, just the three. Unless Stevens having a bit of a devil. Yep, three it is.
Still can't bring you the results of the other games. The website's not up to date yet. Oh, right, Martin, get your finger out. Let's stay on. You know the qualifier taking place at Dolphin at the moment down in south of France, otherwise known as Pool. Jason's made the uh, four day trip. that ball are you John let's bring it straight back to his red ball well he throws a curve ball as he went down the other side clunk click every trip in for a good second Just shy, son. Surprised to see John go a little bit quicker this one. Plan's good for him, yeah. He's been over the pace. Not so bad, you. Just need to stay high. Is he going to get the little feather on the ball? <laughs> oh, he's unlucky. He's unlucky that. Really good try. Looks like one to Scott. Scott looking to see if it's two to rub salt in the wound. Two it is. So Scott off to a real fly area. Six blong up. Probably against one of the fancied runners in the field today. You can just see in the corner there, my old mugger, Brett Hartley. You know the, the fancied runner. Good start here from John. Two feet, maybe. Uh, 
Ryan Cogill, a question about Hugh Crosby. He's playing against Brett, and Brett is currently 6-3 up, going into win 5 and 6 even. If you keep reminders, mate, I'll uh, keep my eye on it. Here's a question. Here's a question for everybody. Um, who thinks that the UK should have artificial greens outdoors? I think the only thing against that is probably going to be the cost. And the quality. So I've played on an artificial green and it was absolutely pants. Well, could be two. Just have a measure for the two. Well done to PSA, Stephen. Just needs to run with this. Oh, he's very good if he can. He's very good here. Oh, well played. Out of a plot. There you go. Get a bit of a bit of a bit there. A bit of atmosphere. So, I think John will go through with you for the ball again. Playing a bit of a timer. It's gone down with the washing. Another one to Stephen. So, 7 nothing. We go into end number 6. End number 5 even. Well... One thing for certain, John will not be panicking on this. A long old stalwart of these vet, vet, uh, these sets games. Vets games, he'll kill us for that. We always say try to extend the set as long as you can. Update the draw so I can run through the games that were on. And the streaming game you saw, Andrew, where you beat beat Thomas, uh, one and a half to a half. Stuart Wiley beat Ian McCulloch in straight sets, nine one ten one. Kevin Harrison beat Kenny Black in straight sets, eight six seven five. Darren Weir, being one, one of the front runners, beat uh, Stuart Clark, 11 1 4 3, straight sets. John Walker beat George Beagley in straight sets, 10 3 9 4. And Ross Stevenson beat young Evan Kent on a tiebreaker. In the first set, 8 3, lost the second set, 10 2, but got through 2 1 on the tiebreak. Trevor Taylor actually got beat. Well, Trevor. Graham Robinson, well done, mate. 
got through one and a half to a half. Lost the won the first set five four, drew the second set six apiece. That early start for Trevi, he's not used to being there, you're out by seven. And Connor Mill beat me little pocket rocket Jacqueline Henderson in straight sets. Just have a quick look to see who's coming on the stream and ring. It is oh, it's Graham Robinson against Connor Milne, Scottish International. So Graham gets a crack at the stream and ring. I'm pleased for you, son. Meanwhile, back on the bulls. On down to PC from John. to get a little slide well Stephen only fancies at one and I think that's all it is I've got a quid in my pocket to see I know where this match has gone Right up to the tee. Need to run, John. Ah, you're well down. Well played, son. <laughs> Not a bad reply either. Yeah, well played. Well done. Bad again, here, son. Oh, well played, mate. That's the John Hutchinson I know. No, it's got to run at it. Down to pace again, are you from the little fella? Oh, well, the two will mean John will need a full house the next end, but it extends it for another end if he gets away with it.
He's just over played it. Yep, he has over the top. So two to John extends it. Takes it to the full length. Seven ends. Pat up the wicket again. Down to pace again here from John as he chucked it. Yes, he certainly has. Well played. That's half of the battle. Surprised to see Stephen swapped his hand. Drops this one in here, which is not bad again. He gets this, he gets this rhythm on this length here. He's bloody good. Stephen going at it. Lift one out. That'll do it. Kitty blew it. Good hit. That's the set. Well done. So, one, two... On to John, Scott Stephen takes the sets 7 4. So, first set to Stephen, 7-4. But John had a head of steam up there when he got them last two ends, changed the length. If you're watching, son, um, Hugh lost the first set. Uh, it's currently 4 0 up to the first end. Well, get me angles right now, isn't it? Want the jack down. Can I find it?
Little plain hunter Jack Fox. Didn't panic. Bob's still playing hunter Jack. But again, if you can stand on, Stephen. Oh, it's just gone off. That back ball is the shot ball. Can I get you a particularly good angle at that at the moment? Flick over to that view there. Just needs to stop. Needs to stop. Oh. <laughs> so, beat the short redden for two. Oh, Cardinal Sin. One nil to Stephen. On the first set, seven four. Anybody just tuning in? You're watching the Scottish International Open qualifiers coming to you from Carlisle. Overplayed it. <coughs> yeah, well played, John. We'll start in the first set. Picked it up a bit this second set and the back end of that first set. Starting to find his range. Johnny probably just ran out just needs to get a grab of these back two balls here <laughs> got the wrong side of that as well
Will John draw it or will he run for the ball? to run needs to run back ball shot oh yeah just shows the angles of the cameras can never tell I would have had a quid on the uh, the green ball So, one out, measuring for two. Red ball in. Two it is. going on there but I don't think they were uh, too happy Keep up to date with uh, all the scores on the doors around. 
Athletics qualifier and of course the one that's taking place down at Pool at Dolphin. Go on to the WW World Balls Tour website. Find the PBA link, click on the PBA link and then go down to the UK and you will get another page open up and you can click on the draw and see the latest results. feeling that John might be shot. Well, John's gone quick at it, so he might be shot. Ah, uh, well played. We'll go out onto the spot. Needs to stop and all. Well, good enough for two. Yard to draw on the line if the pace is right. Yeah, well played. That's the gaffer. Well done. Levels it up, two's a piece. a question there from Mark asking about because John did stop Stephen's last ball before it entered the ditch and asking is is it is that st allowed and um, that silly rule that they came out with where you couldn't stop the balls going to the ditch has been knocked on the head mate it's been scrapped so yes let's just play the game like we used to now
Yep, Ball on third mat. It's going to be a much out there, son. Big chance here for John. Any truck? Yeah, good enough. So, Stephen, just took yourself a hole, son. You get a ball in. Flicks onto the forehand, and he's made a bit of a dog's end of this one. Definitely two. Sneaky fancy might be three. Stephen's going to be absolutely fuming. Yep, on the line, John. Uh, well, not played, and it is a full house four. Nice. Stephen's going to be spitting feathers. Stuff a do for you. So we're going to end five. John's gone six to up. Change in length has definitely um, changed this game around. to run John yeah that's good enough well done Definitely caught Stephen. Stephen out here being a big game changer. John brought up the last two ends in the first set. <laughs> Fell on a length. He's in again. Ooh, maybe he's not. Quick again. Well. I think John will go try to put the daddy in. 
If he finishes past the white, it's Brucey Bonus. Get a grab. Oh, I just got the feathers, took them away, but it's uh, second best. I want to, I want to scroll. Uh, Stephen will go quick at this. And three draws down this side. Well, he's gone again. Needs to slow. I think he's got it. I think he's got it. Or is it John fancies ease? Yeah, wanted John. Find a tail of two cities here, it's a tail of two lengths. James, I think Eddie's playing up at, um, he's playing in the charity game up Scotland, I think. England, Scotland charity game. I'm sure I've seen his name on the list. Stephen. It's your best ball you've played for a few ends on this length. Yeah. Still got a couple of feet by the looks of the on now to the camera. If it was smelly vision folks, you'd be um you'd be getting the popper doms out because it's curry must be on the menu. Well played, Matt. Back ball. Well, tight the line from Stephen. He's pushed it. John's gone for cover. That back ball there. Stephen needs to score to keep the set going. He's gone quick again at it. He 
He's gone down with a washing, so it's uh, oh, no, so it's tie break. Second set to John O'Chee. Eight two. Coin's gone up. Coin's gone up off the green. A typical Scotsman. And underneath, didn't even touch the surface. So, best of three TV. As expected, Stevens just lengthened it. Don't know whether you won the toss or lost the toss. Oh, well played, John. I'll down a pace. I think he's just lacking. The white. Yep, I thought Stephen might have a dibble at it. Going to get out. Then your question about the uh, qualifiers this year, last this early last year? No, they the players asked if we could uh, if if the PBA could put the qualifiers a little bit earlier rather than catching them late of the outdoor season. Unlucky. So that's the first end there to John and Jason managed to get some arranged in April rather than like of September the 3rd when people have just come outdoors or they're still outdoors um, and it's been well received this is why it's uh, early this year so first end to John we go into second end It's coming off a little bit for Stephen. First ball has stopped on. It's about... Six foot past the white.
Trevor Taylor lost Gavin. Unbelievable. Lost the first set 6 5, and I think he drew the second set 6 6 or something like that. Was that half past seven start, mate? Playing hell about Stuart early, getting the late draw. Never goes in it, gets a late draw. On at half past two. to run he got beat off Graham Robinson from Gateshead Matt. just pushed it Just run through again. <laughs> I think the shop ball's still up this end. Needs to get under uh, John's. Oh, got a result. Kind result. Wasn't sure whether he was going to stop. Sure, whether John's got two seconds, we'll soon find out. If he runs at this ball, he must have a couple of seconds, or at least one. Yep, yeah, he's gone for it. It's in the area, just needs to finish about a couple of inches. Very close. Oh, he does. Well, Jack's gone out. And he gets the shot on the spot. So, well done, John Mark Hutchinson. Definitely a tail of two lengths. I line, Stephen, you look back and you'll kick yourself. Um, as always, folks, thanks very much for your support. Uh, the next one's racked on and coming on in about two minutes. Um, if you don't mind, now we know another one from our sponsor. If you can just give it a watch for the next 40 seconds, I uh, will see you in about two or three minutes.